Clean up on like the highline. We go up and get sky high. Mix together like tie dye. Right, that boy. That boy. That boy. That boy. That boy. That boy. Yo, what's going on good people? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy LLB and today I'm going to show you a crazy sampling trick. Basically what I'm going to attempt to do is take a gunner song and flip it into an even crazier gunner type beat. It's going to be a tall order because a lot of his beats are like, like on point. But there is one track on DS4, his most recent album, where I thought like the drums could do with a better bounce or like me personally, I just heard a different bounce over this melody. So yeah, if you wanted to get into sampling or you just want to like switch things up, then this video should be crazy helpful for you, man. But yeah, man, let's just get into this one. All right, so the actual song in question is called You and Me, and it's featuring a female singer called Chloe as well. So we could even take some vocal chops from her and flip that into something as well. But yeah, to get this sample, I'm going to have to figure out a way to separate the vocals from the beat in order to flip this the way I want to. And that's where lalal.ai comes into this. So a big shout out to them for sponsoring in this one today. We was in contact a little while ago and they had a service that basically split the vocals from the beat and that was crazy enough. So they've actually gone one step further and figured out how to separate not just the vocals but the actual beat so they can separate the drums, the bass, the guitars, the synths and just stem everything out so you can pick small parts of a beat that you really like and yeah just flip it into whatever you want. Don't ask me how they do it but yeah I'm just thankful that this thing exists now. So yeah if you're thinking of sampling or you found a specific part in a song that you wanted to pick out then go through the first link in the description and you can go ahead and try it out for free for yourself. But yeah man Let's go and get this sample. So I've got the website up here. It's super straightforward to do. This is the first thing you're greeted with when you come onto the site. And you've got this drop down menu right here where you can just select what sections of the song you want picked out. So you've got the vocal and the instrumental. You've got the drums, the bass, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, piano. And they've even just added synthesizer, which is even crazier. For now, I'm just going to separate the vocal from the instrumental and just see how that sounds. So I've got the file right here. I'm just going to upload that. All right, here it is. So let's see what this thing sounds like. People say, I don't know about Jeez. That is mad. Man, that is crazy clean. Yeah, that's crazy. It's literally just pulled out the vocals and you can't even hear the instrumental in the background. Let's take a listen to the instrumental. Man, that is mad. Literally got the whole beat right there. Man, that's sounding clean, but I don't actually want the whole instrumental. The reason why I chose this beat is because I really messed with the melody, but I'm not too keen on the drums. I feel like they're a bit basic and like there could be a bit more bounce to it. So I'm going to come over here and try and separate the guitar from the beat. That's the only part that I really want. And then I can add my own drums to it. So let's go make a new preview. All right, let's see what we got. Much cleaner. That's the spot that I wanted. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and process the entire file, get this thing downloaded, get it into FL Studio, and let's go ahead and flip this thing, man. All right, so we've got the sample in right here. I've also taken the vocals as well, because I really want to take some female parts out of this and maybe even some gunner vocals and flip them into some nice vocal chops and textures to lay over the top of the sample. First thing I'm gonna do is play with the tempo. I want to make this thing a bit slower, maybe play with the pitch as well. Pitch shifter on there. Yeah, that sounded a bit better. I've just cleaned up some of the low end, taken out some of the high end as well, and just tapered off those like harsh frequencies that are coming through, like you know, just too nasty. Come some RC20. Because this thing's kind of like a little bit down sampled anyway, I think it's nice just to rough up the edges a little bit more and make it sound a little bit more grittier. I think I'm just going to go into that vocal section now and pick out a nice phrase that I can just layer on top of the, the sample as like the B part of the melody. I think that bit could work. Yeah, that section right there. Yeah, and then we'll go straight for the female vocal. That section. Yeah, that section right there. So we can have the female part come in after the gunner section. And then what I'm going to do with those vocals as well, though, is I'm just going to come into the sound, flip it to Stretch Pro, and then just play with the format, you know, make it sound a bit squeakier or like a bit lower. Just try and pick a format that works. Yeah, squeaky definitely works. Gonna make the gunner vocal unique as well. And I'm gonna pitch up a whole octave and then bring the format down just to kind of flip things up a little bit. Yeah, pan it to the left, pan it to the one to the right. That's clear. 
clean right there. All right, let's add some effects to these vocals as well. So first thing is the EQ. I'm just gonna take out those high ends because it is kind of sharp now that we've messed with the full amount. Yeah, let me just add a band pass to this. Some reverb. Yeah, that's nice. Sounds cool, like really washed out. I think adding this, adding this low cut and this high cut cleans up the reverb as well. So yeah, that's sounding sick now. I think just a couple more effects for the vocals. So maybe some shaper box. And we'll just pan this thing from left to right. Come with a pan filter. And then maybe just a little bit of echo. The echo Boy Jr. Maybe some more EQ as well. <laughs> right, that's clean. All right, I'm happy with that vocal. I'm just gonna bounce that out. Yeah, we got that vocal right here. And then in here, I've just copied it across. I'm just gonna make this one unique and then just try and reverse it. You know, reversing stuff always just makes it vibier. So we've got this section here where it plays normally. And then we've got this section where it just plays kind of different. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it works nice, man. Cool. All right, man, let's add some drums to this, man. This is the part that I'm excited for. Yeah, I'm going to come into that kit that I teased at the beginning of this video. And yeah, this kit's ready to go, man. I can't wait to drop this thing. Start with a clap. That's a nice clap right there. And then I'm going to come with a snare. Yeah, that's a cool, that's a cool snare right there. Actually, that's the best now. Put a different snare. In fact, we'll go back to that first snare. Just add a little bit of variation. Yeah, that works, you know. Okay, let's go for a bounce. This is the main thing that I wanted to switch up with this beat because the, the initial song was just a real quick, repetitive hi-hat. I want to make this a bit bouncier and just, you know, just spice it up a little bit. Yeah, that works. So like a triple hit right here at the beginning. Yeah, I'm using these hi-hats sparingly, but I think it works, you know, just that simplistic space, you know, these little gaps right here. I think there's more space for vocals that way. I'm just going to repeat that for a second bar, but in this last section right here, we'll just make it a bit busier. In fact, we'll switch the grid to a third beat, and then we'll just add like a rising hi-hat right here. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> And then with these rising notes, we'll just pan them left to right, you know, just sprinkle them, you know, between each headphone to give it a bit of movement. Yeah, that's clean, man. Yeah, I think it's time for the 808. Now, I think I might even use this sparingly as well. It's just really going to enhance the bounce. Yeah, that one looks perfect, man. Yeah, that's working so far. Yeah, that's a nice basic pattern, but now let's go and source this thing up, man. I'm gonna add a secondary 808. Maybe something like that, just something a bit more growly, just to kind of switch the vibe up, you know? Boom, 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 boom. Mm. Yeah, don't wanna go too crazy, just keep it simple. Boom. Yeah, a bit of a crazy bit right here. Nice with the velocities. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's kind of hard, you know? Yeah, boom, 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 boom. 
Yeah, that's sounding clean, man. I'm just gonna go in with one more snare. I'm gonna come in with this one. It's gonna hit like at the beginning. And it could even layer on top of the clap as well. And another one right here. Yes, that's something crazy, man. Just one last thing that I'm gonna do with that secondary 808 is when we have that crazy section playing here, I'm just gonna pan it. Just pan it left to right, so it's like bum, 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 bum. Jeez. Yeah, that's it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open hat, maybe? Just one little complimentary one at the beginning. Yeah, just literally one every four bar, and then a crash. Something like that, nice and subtle. Man, that's a vibe right there. And the vocals come in, man. Mm -hmm. Man, that is crazy. That is clean. Just for reference, I'm going to go ahead and put the original vocals of the song back over it. See what it sounds like, you know. Might sound pretty cool. Can I just look, paint the wheel? Can I put you inside my wheel? No, oh, baby, you fine, fine. Hey. Hey. Can you fall like a highline? We go up against sky high. Me together like tie dye. Right, that was. That was. That was. That was. That was. That was. Yeah, that works, man. For me, as a remix, I think that works, man. It's not like a remix remix where it's like a completely different genre. But I just had an itch to add my own drums over that song, man. And yeah, I'm happy with the outcome of that one. But yeah, massive shout out to Lalal for making this video possible. And if you guys want to do the same thing, if you want to remix your own songs and just split up songs and just do your own thing with them, then Lalal is definitely the service for you to use. So yeah, if you want a free trial, then hit the first link in the description. Hope you guys really enjoyed this one, man. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.